so, Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for this introduction. I think everybody knows that Switzerland is a high-tech country and can contribute in polar research with technology. But there's also another aspect, is of course, Switzerland is the country of diplomacy. We're in a situation now where the polar regions are becoming more and more political. It becomes more and more difficult to do research because of political decisions, actually sometimes even stopping research. Do you see that Switzerland can contribute in this field? Of course, I think we do see science um, as an instrument, as a possibility also to have a dialogue. Science can also be diplomacy and science can contribute to foster a dialogue, especially in regions you know, where dialogue on some other issues is, is more difficult. And of course, we follow um, the geopolitical developments in the Arctic. And, and of course, we do regret that geostrategic um, tensions and interests play an increasing role uh, in, in recent years. But um, it is my great hope that, that research for the benefit of all of us will not, not suffer from this. Uh, one of the most important uh, uh, environmental research projects uh, ever in the Arctic is the GLACE project. It's a Swiss project run by the Swiss Polar Institute. And this has now uh, reached certain, what should I say, political hurdles. Do you think there's any chance that we might be able to get, go ahead with this expedition? I'm always an optimist. Uh, we are in close contact with all the countries involved. And uh, it would be a huge pity if we could not realize this uh, project, because uh, an enormous amount of energy has already been put into the preparations. It's all ready to go next year. So uh, I'm an optimist, and I, I think we will find a solution. Thank you. Uh, we only have time for basically one or two questions. So if there's anybody. Yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll be quick. Um, Mark Lantain, University of Tromsø. Uh, just a very quick question about uh, Switzerland's activities as an observer within the Arctic Council. Uh, how do you see uh, Swiss participation within the Council and through its working groups as being beneficial both for Swiss and Council policy? Thank you. Thank you very much. I think for our Swiss researchers, it's very important to have a kind of a framework, to have a kind of a, they are very independent, as I mentioned. Our researchers are really, you know, normally they don't call for the state to help them so much. They are doing their research. But I think with our um, participation in the Arctic Council as, as an observer, we can give them a good platform. We can give them more visibility. And I really think they appreciate that. Now, I know that um, the Swiss research community is very active in the various working groups of, of the Arctic Council. So it is my hope that this is also the, to, to the benefit of, of the Arctic Council and of Arctic research in general. So one more question. Hello, Takeshi Kaji, Arctic Circle. Um, first of all, thank you for being here and for all of the investment from Switzerland in incredibly cool Arctic science. Um, on the diplomatic front, my question is, what would you say if Nepal or China were to also declare themselves vertically Arctic nations? <laughs> <laughs> they are, of course, our competitors, and I hope that nobody would ask this question. Um, <laughs> I think uh, you know we are we are living in a globalized world, and we always say what happens in the Arctic uh, will influence the whole uh, the whole world sooner or later. The same is of course true what happens in the Alps and what happens in the Himalaya region. So finally, I think you know the Arctic will be more a scientific approach. It will be uh, an idea, a, a concept, uh, less than something confined to to a geographical space. So I would be quite open if there is an interest from uh, Tibet or China to work with on Arctic issues. I, 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 would, uh, I would be quite open to that. So we don't have more time, but if I allow me to give a, a private comment, I think Switzerland entering on the Arctic scene is extremely positive. Mm -hmm. Switzerland will have the capacity of supporting, aiding, finding results, finding they actually give hope to finding solutions for the future. So we are very, very thankful for Switzerland's involvement. Thank you, Mr. Postman.